Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of Swallowed Star episode number 170 based on novel. So let's start. Greetings Undying. Sector Lord Moluo Ku bowed respectfully. The huge warrior with the big axe on his back responded slightly before looking at Luo Feng, Luo Feng, the leader wants to meet you, follow me. After which, a formless energy that couldn't be seen by the naked eye formed a large hand and carried Luo Feng. The huge warrior brought Luo Feng and swiftly headed towards the ninth level of the palace. This is the strength of an undying. Luo Feng felt the ripples of origin laws around him. Flying through level after level. Every level of Tian Sha Palace was incredibly vast and huge. Very quickly, this undying brought Luo Feng to the ninth level. This ninth level hall should be the biggest hall of all of the palace. Just like how the first level had a specific ship docking area, places to welcome people, with sector lords resting areas, and a special area to monitor Blood River World, and a place for the sector lords to train, in all from the first to eighth level, every level was incredibly vast, but each had been organized extremely well. The ninth level however was a vast hall of endlessness. The entire ninth level hadn't been segregated at all. The length and width reached tens of thousands of kilometer, and its height too was 10,000 km. It was so large, that even Earth was able to fit into this hall. Tian Sha Palace Leader As he landed in the ninth hall, Luo Feng's gaze landed on the distant silhouette ahead. He was dressed in a silver long robe. It seemed as though his robe itself produced countless images. On it were gold engravings, however with a blink of an eye, the robe was ultimately just a silver robe. Illusionary and mysterious, it was intoxicating. His reddish-brown long hair was let loose. Standing there, gazing at the vast space outside Tian Sha Palace. At this point Luo Feng even felt that he was even more vast than the space outside, even more majestic. Leader. The huge warrior bowed respectfully. Go on. A clear voice, like a wind blowing through a bamboo forest. Yes. The warrior became a beam of light and immediately left the ninth level. The light behind the stairs turned dark as the pathway behind seemed to close. He finally turned around. He had reddish-brown long hair, sparkling skin, black eyes, and an engraving on his forehead. Other than the engraving, his resemblance to an earth human was uncanny. Even though he was taller than normal, however before him, even the giants would feel as though they were facing an endless space, and would be subdued and feel inferior. Luo Feng, the voice seemed to resound within his ears and heart. Only then did Luo Feng awaken. Even with my willpower, I was still unknowingly affected by him. It's, it's too terrifying. Compared to the true governing powers of the universe, even with my strong willpower, there's still such a difference. If Luo Feng's thoughts were known by the warriors of the universe, they'd all break out laughing. Standing before a pinnacle ancient being, who, through his countless years of training, the universe energies shaping, his willpower alone was at an unbelievable level. A universe-level little doll that had only lived for a few hundred years. And compared to the Tian Sha Palace's leader, he alone was more than capable of keeping the intimidation on the beings of Blood River World. Luo Feng greets the leader. Luo Feng bowed respectfully. Your willpower is not bad. The leader nodded. It was almost like the entire land and skies were speaking. Your batch of geniuses are the most exceptional in the past 10,000 eras, because in your batch, there's Bolin, you and Rong Jun. Luo Feng was stunned by his words past 10,000 eras, was essentially over 100 million years. Before you entered Blood River World, the Virtual Universe Company's management level had a contest over you and Bolin. The leader looked at Luo Feng. The contest was about your sturdiness in character, and to see if you are fit for walking this path of the strong. Your high talents. And Bolin's pride, yet his unbelievable talent. However, your willpower far exceeds his. Back then some favored you, while others favored Bolin. And I, I favored you. The leader looked at Luo Feng, his eyes smiling. Thank you leader. Luo Feng bowed. Your time here in Blood River World, according to your teacher, he said that you have comprehended the 35 wonders of the space laws. The leader looked at Luo Feng. Did that happen? Yes. Luo Feng replied frankly. Back when your teacher said that, immediately the numbers that favored you grew. The leader said, I too thought that you and Rong Jun would have more hopes of becoming true absolute warriors in the universe humans. Rong Jun and I. Luo Feng was stunned. 
Just complimenting him alone was enough. Rong Jun. From the leader's words, everybody was contesting between him and Bolin, but no one mentioned Rong Jun at all. However right now, be it the Heavenly Bridge or Fantasy Ocean, he and Bolin were far ahead. Rong Jun. Luo Feng was curious. If Bolin were to understand, he too would be your competitor. The leader looked at Luo Feng. As for Rong Jun, if you are able to exceed Rong Jun in this life, it would be an accomplishment. What? Luo Feng stared wide-eyed. This life? If he could exceed Rong Jun in this life, it would an accomplishment. And this was said by the leader of the Tian Sha Palace. Would he not be able to exceed him? Ever since he acquired the Beast God statue, Luo Feng didn't even place Bolin or Rong Jun as his opponents. He thought he was set to exceed them by far. His true opponents were the absolute beings from before. However the leader, someone of such status wouldn't speak rubbish. Rong Jun had indeed attracted two universe country leaders to accept him as their disciple, that weird matter made Luo Feng curious. So the upper echelons favor Rong Jun more than me and Bolin. Luo Feng thought. They better look well. I have the beast god statue to study the first claw, the Mosha clan to study the nine universe tablet, and the earth body to meld the two. I'm already ahead of Rong Jun. My return this time, I should be able to exceed Bolin too. And after this time, I will continuously improve, leaving them far behind. Luo Feng's state of mind was incredibly sturdy. Even though he valued the leader's words, but to get shaken by it. He wanted to be strong. Continuously growing. His improvement speed will only get faster, as for Rong Jun. Bolin. It'll just depend on whether they could keep up. Your mental state sure is solid. The leader saw through Luo Feng's eyes and guessed his thoughts. Smiling, the universe is vast and profound. Everyone has their own miraculous meetings and advantages. The three of you are not bad. However at such a young age, your willpower has already reached such levels. It's really not easy. My good friend favors Rong Jun. As long as he doesn't fall, he will definitely have accomplishments in the future. However, I'm betting on you. Betting. Luo Feng was stunned, this leader seemed to know some secret about Rong Jun, yet he was still betting on himself. Don't let me lose. The leader's eyes were smiling, you actually comprehended the 35 wonders. Following which he pointed in mid-air. Formless energy gathered and a stone tablet formed. On it was a picture, the drizzle picture. There were a total of 36 raindrops in it. This 36 wonders, which one haven't you comprehended yet? The leader said. This one. Luo Feng pointed and his spirit energy landed on a particular drop. Since we could meet, I'll help you out. The leader waved his hand and immediately black fireballs with diameters of 100 kilometers immediately floated in the air in the hall. Every one of them were extremely huge and completely black. The surfaces were burning with black flames, and there was a total of nine of them. The space around the black fireballs seemed to burn and split apart, and the broken space flowed erratically, locked in by the black fireballs, the space further away seemed to warp. Almost as though there was some very strong gravity causing the space to get drawn in. Only the space around Luo Feng and the leader was very solid. What's this? Those undyings are able to play with even planets. Just what are these nine black planets? Luo Feng looked up shocked. Even though it was controlled in this palace, he still felt the temperature rise up to 1000 degrees. However this wasn't anything to a universe level 9. However, just the burning temperatures caused the space to split apart, even making the space flow weirdly locked in position. This was definitely thousands to tens of thousands of times more terrifying than a star. I'll completely demonstrate the 36th wonder which you've yet to comprehend. But just once, whether you can comprehend it will depend on yourself. The leader looked at the nine black fireballs floating, immediately they began to move, with one movement. The land and skies vanished. Luo Feng couldn't help, but get completely immersed within. The movement of the nine fireballs completely infused with the universe space laws, the space was completely controlled. At this time, it was even deeper than studying the nine universe tablet itself. The main reason was that the tablet was but something an absolute warrior of the universe had left behind, and right now, the leader of the Qian, Chapalis was personally demonstrating the 36th wonder. After finishing the demonstration, the nine black fireballs continued to move about, all the more mysterious. Luo Feng was completely immersed within, many thoughts and comprehensions occurred in his mind, 
however the more he saw, the more he didn't know. He even lost track of time. Rumble. The nine black fireballs were already invisible to the naked eye. Only the countless flame marks were left, finally forming a peculiar beast picture. This beast picture was the beast in the nine universe tablets' seventh to ninth pictures, the ones Luofeng didn't understand. After which, the nine black fireballs completely vanished and the vast hall returned to normal. The leader looked at Luo Feng, who was immersed in his study and waved his hand. Luo Feng vanished and appeared in the first level. Within a particular F-grade universe ship's control room, he was still sitting cross-legged and within his study, not even realizing he was already in a ship. Send him off, don't disrupt his study. The leader communicated. Yes leader. The leader of the Qian Sha Palace gazed down, almost as though he could see through the many levels. Looking at Luo Feng immersed in his study in the universe ship, laughing lightly, Luo Feng, how much you can comprehend depends on yourself. After which he sat cross-legged, laughing softly, such a young age with such powerful willpower. Interesting, interesting, even when I was domain lord back then, my willpower wasn't that strong. Everything returned to silence. Tian Sha Palace Ninth Level was as calm as it had been for the past trillion years. And the F-grade ship brought Luo Feng, who was immersed in his study and left Tian Sha Palace. Luo Feng's nest, star fragment 8038981. It had a diameter of 6,200 kilometers. This star fragment was floating in space, and on it was a huge villa that took up most of the space, with universe-level soldiers patrolling about. Suddenly, they spotted a universe ship slowly descending. They became shocked, and immediately informed their leader Ao Duo. General, there's a ship. A ship has come. A silhouette appeared within the villa. It was the bald old man Ao Duo, he looked up at the universe ship. From one look, his expression changed, the mark of Tianxia Palace. It's actually a F-grade universe ship, follow me. Ao Duo brought the ten guards with him in beams of lights, swiftly flying over. In the distance, that ship descended, landing on the wild grass and flowers. The ship is from Tian Sha Palace. It should be His Majesty returning, but why haven't they opened the cabin door after so long? Ao Duo brought the guards and stood beside the ship waiting at attention. The ship stopped for quite a while before the cabin door opened and landed on the ground. A huge warrior with a huge axe on his back came out, coldly gazing at Ao Duo and the group. The formless pressure fiercely landed on Ao Duo and the group's souls. Greetings undying. Ao Duo bowed in shock. Greetings undying. The group of guards too were shocked. Luo Feng is studying now, we cannot disrupt him in this critical time. The warrior said coldly. Our Tian Sha Palace ship will be stationed here until he awakens, you all cannot disturb him either. Yes. Ao Duo and the group bowed, simultaneously feeling shocked. My god. This pressure that he released before them, had ripples of origin laws all around. Obviously this was a powerful undying. And Luo Feng was actually able to have an undying wait here without disturbing him, this was too absurd. Luo Feng was after all an absolute beginning member. His position should still be slightly lower than that of an undying in Tian Sha Palace. The cabin door closed and Ao Duo and the group could only wait outside. One hour, two hours. One day, two days. Why hasn't His Majesty awoken yet? Right, we've been waiting here for quite some time. General, if His Majesty continues his study, should we still wait here stupidly? From what I see, we should return first. Shut up. Ao Duo ordered softly. His gaze swept at the guards that had been standing there for 18 days waiting, and said coldly, You are all at universe levels and domain lords. How is this long? Even I'm not complaining. Even the undying from Tian Sha Palace is waiting, not daring to disrupt his training. And you dare complain. HMPH. The muttering guards all immediately went silent. Be silent and wait. If His Majesty awakens and we are not there to welcome him, that would be our failure. Ao Duo ordered. Yes, General. The group of guards obediently complied. Within the ship's control room, Luo Feng sat crossed legged on the metal ground, not moving. In his mind many scenes floated in and out, the nine black fireballs shown to him before by the powerful Tian, Sha Palace leader replayed over and over in his mind. Many techniques from the second volume of Time Space Scribbles too came into play, many areas that were obscure before were being solved. Nine Universe Tablet, Time Space Scribbles, 
Floating Blood Manual, Nine Black Fireballs, The Ancient Pictures, The Beast God Statue. They all corresponded with each other. Plus the fact that he had already comprehended the previous 35 wonders, and a lot of the 36th, with all these working together, many questions he had initially were being solved. His comprehension began to rise and Luo Feng couldn't help but smile. Unknowingly, Luo Feng had completely comprehended the 36th wonder, because the nine black fireballs kept replaying in his head, displaying the entire space laws over and over. He couldn't help but continue studying and move on to the nine universe tablets third picture, the rainstorm. Many questions began to form in his head, many hard to solve questions. Luo Feng combined the nine black fireballs, the ancient pictures and compared notes, attacking each difficult question one at a time, using all his focus to solve one question after another. That's it. Luo Feng, who was sitting crossed-legged opened his eyes. Any more and my efficiency will decrease. The best way to study the Nine Universe Tablet is still the Time Space Scribbles. I currently only have two volumes and not the third. Luo Feng could clearly feel that without the Time Space Scribbles to tally with, his studying efficiency would have a drastic drop. Time Space Scribbles were written by the founder of the Nine Universe Tablet. It is extremely valuable, and at the same time, it is the optimum way to study the Nine Universe Tablet. The control room cabin door opened and Luo Feng turned to look out. The huge warrior with the huge axe on his back walked in. He glanced at Luo Feng, since you've awoken, you can leave now. Thank you undying. Luo Feng bowed. This was the leader's command, no need to thank me. The huge warrior didn't say anything more. Luo Feng bowed and swiftly followed the pathway straight out of the cabin door. Greetings your majesty. Ao Duo and the group of guards all bowed as they saw Luo Feng walk out, it had been over 30 days since they waited. HM. Luo Feng jumped down and landed on the grass, simultaneously nodding as he smiled, I've kept you all waiting, let's go. Yes. Ao Duo and the rest respectfully followed. On this star fragment continent, Luo Feng quickly returned to his living quarters. He couldn't wait and immediately entered the virtual universe network. Virtual Universe, Yuxiong Mountain Absolute Beginning Region, Villa 1136. Luo Feng came to his training grounds. The Tianxia Palace leader's help this time has saved me at least two to three years' worth of work. And the display of the nine black fireballs has shed some light on my later study of the rainstorm picture. Luo Feng recalled the scene back in Tianxia Palace. He couldn't help but be speechless at the nine black fireballs. The universe space was very steady, even with the star's high temperature, it wouldn't affect the space at all. However the black fireballs burning in the space actually messed up the flow of space itself. Its strong gravity caused the space to warp. Luo Feng guessed that even a powerful undying, if burned by the black fireballs would be burnt to death. Make light work of something heavy. I shouldn't think so far ahead now, I can't even make one star yet. Luo Feng shook his head, after which he cleared his mind and with a thought, the dark golden long rod appeared on his back. I've already completely comprehended the 36 wonders, I don't know whether I can unleash the sixth level though. Nanshan Armament had a total of nine levels. The fifth space slicer, the sixth own world. From the fifth to the sixth, it was one of the two hardest breakthroughs of the nine levels. Eighty years. Over eighty years of hard work, Luo Feng's comprehension had risen greatly. Compared to eighty years ago, it was absurd, however he was still unable to unleash the sixth level. Nanshan Armament, come out. Luo Feng ordered. Countless gold lights, shot out from the dark golden long rod behind him. In an instant, the gold glaring lights of little golden blades shot out. Gold engravings on the little blades formed gold threads, and countless lights moved in the surrounding space, triggering the space laws. Gold laws, and the alloy ground of the training grounds completely vanished into the light. A vast world made of blade energy revolved around. This move could change the land and skies. It was the Nanshan and Armament's sixth level, own world. Luo Feng frowned. His face was flushed red, as his consciousness spirit energy madly controlled the blade world's foundation, the 5,832 little golden blades. No, no. Control. Luo Feng couldn't help but roar. Rumble. The formed blade world maintained itself for about three to four seconds, and after which it shook and crumbled with a crash. The blur of 5,832 little golden blades remained floating in the surroundings, however the blade world was broken. 
It actually crumbled in a few seconds. Luo Feng smiled and shook his head. It's still okay, this was the first time I actually formed the Blade World. After so many years, this is the first time I successfully formed a complete Blade World. Since I can form it, the next step should come quickly. Breaking through every level was extremely hard. Just like the Nan Shan Armament's first level, simply forming one golden blade. The second piercing sky actually required nine blades into one. Why was the difference so huge? Over 80 years. Luo Feng had been constantly improving from the fifth level's space slicer. His improvement speed was shocking, his encounters too were legendary. Using these 80 years that way, he finally began to feel the entrance of the sixth level's own world. Of course, it was just the entrance, every level's power was vastly different. Luo Feng's blade world could only be maintained for a few seconds now, it was the most basic stage of forming this sixth level. In theory, the rainstorm picture, when one reached a certain level of comprehension, only then would he be able to unleash blade world. Luo Feng's comprehension of the rainstorm picture was barely even beginning. The first of March levels of the heavenly bridge reflects the raindrop picture. The fourth to sixth levels reflected the drizzle picture. The seventh to ninth levels reflect the rainstorm picture. Luo Feng frowned. This is a rough gauge, I've comprehended the first 36 wonders. Since my comprehension is ten times stronger than a normal comprehension of the drizzle picture, that's why I can force out the blade world. However, I can only maintain it for a few seconds, I estimate that I still cannot pass the seventh level of the heavenly bridge. I have to get accustomed to it and maintain for longer periods of time. Luo Feng pondered. And even though I've comprehended the first 36 wonders, studying the rainstorm picture would still be extremely difficult. However, with little bits, I think it'll be pretty fast. If one's basics were solid, the comprehension would be faster. Luo Feng's basics were incredibly solid. Studying the rainstorm picture requires the time space scribbles third volume. I should buy it now. Luo Feng understood the theory of a sharp blade increasing one's efficiency. He immediately rushed out of the training grounds. He flew into his study. Sitting before the desk, he opened his laptop and swiftly opened the treasure trove, preparing to buy the manual. However, he was shocked as he saw his points below. Points, 74,660. Only over 70k points. Buying the third volume of Time Space Scribbles requires 100k points. Luo Feng was stunned. His earnings were already considered excellent. Back in Primal Chaos City, with the 10 times reward he earned quite a bit. After buying the first of February volumes of Time Space Scribbles, he still had 20,360 points left. After that, he consecutively passed the first of September Islands of Fantasy Ocean, gaining 51,100 points. And during the time he spent in Blood River World, he passed the Heavenly Bridges 6th level, gaining 3,200 points. A total of 74,660 points. The first volume of Time Space Scribbles was only 1,000 points. The first two required 10k points, the first three required 100k points, first four was 1 million, it's compounded. Especially for all nine volumes, the entire set reached 100 billion points. This was something even the universe country leaders could only stare at. And, there wasn't any discount. The amount required to pay for these was like choosing a bottomless pit. Looks like I have to confirm the end of the mission before I can purchase the third volume. Luo Feng gently clicked and closed the treasure trove document. He then proceeded to open the management file and chose training, very quickly entering the training page. He chose to confirm the end of his mission. How do you do, your majesty Luo Feng? A gentle voice resounded from the screen. You are requesting to confirm the end of your mission. Yes. Luo Feng nodded. May I ask, of the two missions in Blood River World, which did you finish? The gentle voice continued. Both of them. Luo Feng replied. Please wait a moment your majesty. A universe ship will arrive shortly at your star fragment to verify. After the verification, your majesty will acquire the points designated as the reward. The gentle voice spoke. Indeed, about eight hours later. A grey blade-shaped universe ship that was 100m long landed on the star fragment. Luo Feng led his sector Lord Ao Duo and others to welcome them. How do you do your majesty Luo Feng? Three black uniformed men and women walked out of the cabin door. 
The leading black uniformed man said, please enter the ship, your guards need not follow. All right. Luo Feng nodded. He entered this blade-like ship and quickly reached a specific verification cabin. When your majesty has entered the cabin, just act according to the Ari's instructions. The three of them were humble and respectful. In terms of strength, they were all sector lords. But, as their talent in battle wasn't that high, they belonged to the management and chore side of the company. However even in these departments, they had different statuses. The things these three handled were considered more core. They too knew that the geniuses from this bat's genius competition, Bolin, Rong Jun, and Luo Feng were heavily favored. Naturally, their attitude was humble. If they were to meet some other geniuses who were not necessarily outstanding, they would do their job simply as is, with a cold face. Why would they even be humble about it? Luo Feng nodded, stepping into the cabin. Within. The electronic voice resounded, please take out one Blood River crystal and place it on the desk. Luo Feng placed one crystal on the alloy desk. First mission of acquiring one crystal, complete. Points awarded 10k. The electronic voice said. Luo Feng please prove that you are a blood warrior, and place the Blood River medal on the desk. The cloud contact armor on his body automatically separated, revealing his bare chest. Luo Feng triggered the Blood River energy within and a red engraving appeared on his chest. Even though it was simple, it was complete and infused with incredibly mysterious energy and power. This in turn, completely raised Luo Feng's melding with the universe laws and energy by one fold. Simultaneously, he tossed out the Blood River medal onto the table too. The blue light scanned Luo Feng and the table. Verified. Luo Feng, congratulations on completing the second mission, becoming a Blood Warrior and acquiring a Blood River medal. Points awarded 100k. The voice spoke. Luo Feng smiled immediately. Luo Feng. A cold lady's voice suddenly resounded. I'm messaging you via the virtual universe network. This contact will be classified and divulging of this contact is forbidden. Ah. Luo Feng was stunned. Yes. Luo Feng reacted. Classified. What classified? Don't be nervous, we interview anyone that enters Blood River World. The cold lady's voice sounded. Since you were able to become a blood warrior, and were able to hand in one more crystal. I assume that you should still have extra Blood River crystals on you. Luo Feng was shocked. Blood River crystals. He couldn't even see any way to buy this within the treasure trove. The Blood River crystal is unique only to Blood River World. Even in the vast universe, it's regarded as an extremely mysterious and valuable crystal. Hence, it is very important. Among our human race, it is considered as a prohibited item, prohibited as in it's forbidden to buy and sell this item. The moment such an action is discovered, the Virtual Universe Company, Huge Axe Dojo, Universe Mercenary Alliance, Universe First Bank, and Universe Galaxy Bank will immediately act and collect all the crystals and punish the person heavily. Luo Feng was shocked. Prohibited item. Just like how Star Annihilator Cannon was an extremely rare item to the universe countries, this crystal was actually a prohibited item and forbidden from sale. The way you acquired your crystals was legal and appropriate, we will not snatch them from you. The cold lady continued. However, there are certain things you need to know. You are definitely not allowed to sell it to others, and can only use it for yourself. If you wish to give them to others, please first send a request to our virtual universe company. Once the request gets approved, you can then pass it on to that individual. Also, if you wish to sell the crystals, our virtual universe company will be in charge of purchasing them from you. Each crystal will be worth 600 points. Luo Feng's heart was beating fast within. He had many crystals. Of course there was nowhere else in the universe that these crystals can be found in, only in Blood River World. However, the amount of crystals in Blood River World was plenty. But now, he was finding out from this higher level member of the Virtual Universe Company, that it was prohibited. So much so that even giving them as a gift required permission, and if the request didn't go through, he couldn't even gift them. The Virtual Universe Company has many geniuses. In theory, with so many crystals, giving three to each of them shouldn't be anything. Luo Feng thought. However it's obvious that the five leviathans are controlling it very strictly. Are you willing to sell your crystals? The cold voice resounded. 600 points for one. Luo Feng currently had close to 10k crystals. If he sold them all, he would get over 5 million points. My god. That was a huge sum. Because according to what Luo Feng knew, 
the Undyings could exchange money for points, one mixed element for one point. If I had known, I would have acquired more. Luo Foam thought. Are you willing to sell your crystals? The cold voice asked again. I don't have that many, I wish to continue to absorb them. Luo Foam said. HM. The cold voice didn't continue about the matter. Our conversation ends here, whatever was said today is classified and not to be divulged. Yes. Luo Feng nodded. After which an electronic voice resounded within the cabin, Luo Feng, the verification is over, you may leave. Simultaneously, the door opened. Standing on the grass, he looked up at the blade-shaped ship swiftly vanish into space. Luo Feng had a frown on his face. Luo Feng, I dare guarantee that the Blood River crystals should still have some other special uses. If it were simply for absorption, the Virtual Universe Company need not keep such a tight rein over it, and be so stingy to its geniuses. Barbata shouted. There's only one answer. And that is, that they have other uses for it, and I dare say that it's for the absolute warriors amongst the undying, or even the universe country leaders and knights. Hence, they are prohibited items. Barbata's views were much more vast than Luo Feng's. Back then, he had followed Hu Yang Bo throughout the universe to explore, and experience the dangers of life and death battles, while mostly dealing with undyings. Naturally he saw things much clearer. Luo Feng thought. Geniuses are geniuses. However, the true pillars of humanity are the undyings, like true Yang Emperor, and so on. And then there are even stronger knights and universe country leaders. These eternal beings are the true pillars of humanity in the vast universe. As for the items they require, naturally they wouldn't let you geniuses have them. Didn't they already give you the chance to enter Blood River World? Giving you that one chance is already good enough of them. Barbata said. Luo Feng nodded and communicated through his consciousness, I understand. I just felt that the Blood River crystals were very important, hence I didn't sell them. Close to 10k crystals. If he wanted to sell them, there will always be a chance in the future. But until he discovered if they had any other uses, he couldn't bear to sell them. Selling is easy, but buying is hard. As it's a prohibited item, there's nowhere else to buy from. Luo Feng thought. Virtual Universe, Yuxiong Mountain, Absolute Beginning Region. Luo Feng once again entered and sat at his desk. He opened the treasure trove file in his laptop and discovered that his points had changed. Points, 184,660. It's enough now. Luo Feng smiled and swiftly opened the technique file, quickly finding the extremely expensive time-space scribbles. After having tasted its benefits, he didn't even hesitate and immediately chose to buy the first three volumes. There was no other way, no way to simply buy just one volume. Hence, he could only do it this way. Exchange successful. Deducting 100k points, remaining points, 84,660. Please wait a while, someone will deliver it immediately. The page had three consecutive notifications. Looking at his remaining points, Luo Feng couldn't help but exclaim, earning the points really wasn't easy. He took 80 years to finally absorb all three crystals, and that was because his willpower was incredibly sturdy, and he was able to rush into the whirlpool core. Otherwise, how long would it take, if he stayed outside the core for him to complete the second mission? 100k points was indeed hard to earn. The true reward this time, is still the close to 10k Blood River crystals. Getting so many of them was still much easier than actually absorbing the three. And the virtual universe, is willing to pay 600 points for each of them. I can sell them anytime, buying them however is impossible. Luo Feng understood, only universe level geniuses could accept this mission. Once he reached domain lord level and head out into the fields, there was absolutely no chance of acquiring more crystals. Blood River Crystals. Their true worth definitely isn't just 600 points, I'll just wait. Maybe it'll give me a surprise in the future. Luo Feng thought. After a while, at the entrance of the absolute beginning region entrance. Your Majesty Luo Feng, this is the case of manuals we just received, it's what you ordered. Lady Fox waved her bushy tail and handed over the case. Thanks. Luo Feng received the silver case. It was finally here. This was the third manual of Time Space Scribbles that was worth 100k points, as he had already acquired the first two volumes, the Virtual Universe Company only sent him the third. Carrying it, he turned and rose into the sky. Luo Feng, you madman, stay there. A voice resounded. Luo Feng turned around to look. In the distance, a silver light landed on the grass. It was the silver-armored black-haired youth Wuka. This Manka prince's body growth was indeed slow. Even after such a long time, he still hadn't fully matured. Why are you shouting at me? Luo Feng smiled and walked over. In our past, 
We have had few star fragment meetings, even had the huge party for the absolute beginning members. But, you've yet to attend even one of them. Damn, recently even in the virtual universe you've completely disappeared. As he spoke, he punched Luo Feng in the chest unhappily. Luo Feng was initially shaken, but diffused the punch. These past few months have been critical, hence I haven't come online. Luo Feng explained. These past few months, he had acquired the Beast God statue, and had a miraculous encounter in Tianxia Palace. It has indeed been a few months since his come online. Ah, Luo Feng. Wuka's face grew mysterious, as he said softly, let me tell you a secret. What secret? Luo Feng asked curiously. I just came from the battle arena, and I got some news. Today, Bolin attempted the heavenly bridge. Wuka said softly. Again. Luo Feng was shocked. Every three levels of the bridge was a breakthrough point. The higher the levels, the harder it got. One to three levels, four to six levels, seven dash nine. He had spent eighty years in Blood River World. Bolin, Long Yun, Rong Jun, Wuka, Qian Shui, Zhou Lai etc. all had chosen their own paths, all improving both slow and quick. However, everybody would still occasionally attempt the heavenly bridge. During which most of them had all improved. However, Bolin was on the sixth level back in Primal Chaos City, and over these eighty years, this absolute genius had been working hard. However, he still hadn't passed the seventh level of the bridge. It was obvious that the seventh level was extremely difficult. Right now, in his batch, three people had reached the sixth level, Bolin, Rong Jun and himself. Bolin and himself had long reached the sixth level. Rong Jun just managed to do it after eighty years. And there were four people on the fifth level currently. He attempted it again, did he pass? Luo Feng asked. He he. Wuka mopped softly. That proud punk, he just failed two years ago and attempted again today. However, he still failed, ha ha, would the seventh level be that easy? The difference in difficulty from the sixth to the seventh, is even more than the difficulty from levels one to six added together. Failed. Luo Feng nodded. Right? His eighty years had many miraculous encounters. The three bodies were all working in unison, along with the raised comprehension, and melding from blood river energy. Even after all this, he still didn't have a guarantee of passing the seventh level. Work hard. Wuka said. Rong Jun, that savage had just reached the sixth level not long ago. It'll be at least a few hundred years before he reaches the seventh. Right now in Outbatch, the fastest to reach the seventh is only you and Bolin. Luo Feng, you have to live up to the reputation of our absolute beginning's three heroes. Get lost. Luo Feng couldn't help but laugh and scold him. Absolute beginning's three heroes. Hearing that name, he had goosebumps all over. This was because, among this new batch of geniuses, himself, Rong Jun and Wuka, were close and their performance was good. Naturally, others would lump them as a group. This Prince Wuka however, was very proud of the title of Absolute Beginning's Three Heroes. Luo Feng wasn't used to it, Rong Jun too would frown dissatisfied, Wuka however was very proud. I won't speak anymore to you, I'll return first. Luo Feng said. Ah, what did you buy? Wuka looked curiously at the briefcase in Luo Feng's hands. Time space scribbles. Luo Feng said. Three volumes. That's 100k points. Wuka stared wide-eyed, saying, you ruthless, you sure are wealthy. Luo Feng didn't chat more and immediately flew up. He soared through the skies and quickly returned to his villa. Within the study, he sat before his desk and held his breath as he opened the case. Within it was a thick metal book. This book was 50 centimeters long, 40 centimeters wide and its thickness reached a shocking 50 centimeters. Just how big was it? A half a meter thick book was much thicker than both earlier volumes. The entire book was still using the gold-colored metal pages, and there were a total of 1,000 pages. The third volume. Luo Feng looked like a hungry wolf staring at a sheep. His eyes gleamed, and he didn't care about anything else, immediately opening and beginning to study it. This time Space Scribble's third volume reflected the rainstorm picture. As he studied this, the golden horned beast still focused on studying the beast god statues tearing sky and land every day, focusing on the first claw. These two were resonated and Luo Feng's level simply rose at a very obvious rate. Learning is easy, application and fully grasping it however is difficult. Truly comprehending the 108 wonders was an extremely hard thing to do. Luo Feng was currently working on the rainstorm picture with a slight sense of comprehension. Luo Feng, there's mail. It's from the Virtual Universe Company. Within the training grounds, Luo Feng sat crossed on the alloy ground. 
He flipped the thick time space scribbles before him, and occasionally controlled the nanch and armament to practice, as countless dark gold little blades floated and danced in mid-air. Luo Feng's thoughts moved. Countless little golden blades acted like birds returning to their nest, all entering the dark golden long rod on his back. Male. Luo Feng immediately pointed in mid-air and a screen appeared, and on it displayed was the mail he just received. Secret Region Qualification Battle Luo Feng looked at the subject. With a thought, he quickly opened and read on. The level of the Virtual Universe Company's core members were separated, from high to low, and also into the primal region, absolute beginning, sky and land and last phase regions. It wasn't such that if one entered the absolute beginning region, he would remain in there forever. There was intense competition amongst the core members. The weak were knocked back into the lower regions and the strong would remain. The stronger ones even got to proceed into the higher region. Competition was always present. If one didn't work hard. During the genius battle, one may be the number one genius, entering the primal region. However if he didn't work hard, he may be knocked down into the absolute beginning region during the secret region qualifications. During the second time, he may be knocked into the sky and land region. Resources were limited. The human talents were unlimited. As time passed, new batches of genius would always present themselves. If one's strength didn't match the absolute beginning region, he would naturally fall into the sky and land region. Yu Xiong Mountain's primal region members, according to strength were separated into sector lord, domain lord and universe level. Within the primal region, there were 100 sector lords, 10 domain lords and 3 universe levels. Absolute beginning region, 1000 sector lords, 100 domain lords and 30 universe levels. Sky and land region, 10,000 sector lords, 1,000 domain lords, and 300 universe levels. Last phase region, if a core member failed the competition, he would be dropped into the last phase region, this was the final step. Of which? The universe level members would compete every 100 years. The domain lords would compete every 1,000 years. The sector lords would compete every 100,000 years. As the sector lords would mostly be stuck at the pinnacle for very very long. Hence, Every 10,000 years the Virtual Universe Company would organize a genius battle and hero battle, during which, it absorbed a few geniuses here and there, along with some genius sector lords that pop out later. Thus, the number of sector lord geniuses were the most. Even with 100 slots on the primal region name list, the competition was still extremely intense. 100 slots. For the many from the genius battles, hero battles and others to compete for. Luo Feng thought as he looked at the screen, qualification battle. I am currently universe level. This means that there will be a battle every 100 years, and it's beginning in 6 years. Luo Feng thought. From the male, the primal region slots have extremely intense competition, and not just from people from the same batch. One will also battle with the earlier generations and seniors. The qualification battle is very tragic. However, to enter the primal region, other than the qualification battle, there's actually another way. Luo Feng smiled as he looked at the male. The last phase members want to enter the sky and land region. The sky and land members want to enter the absolute beginning region. The absolute beginning members want to enter the primal region. How is this supposed to happen? There were two ways. One was the qualification battles and the second was attempting sky mountain. The qualification battles belonged to a large scale elimination battle. The universe level members would compete amongst each other, finally picking the victors. This occurred every 100 years. And at sector lord level, it took place every 100,000 years. However attempting Sky Mountain was different. The core members could attempt at any time. There were a total of three Sky Mountains, Primal Sky Mountain, Absolute Beginning Sky Mountain and Sky and Land Sky Mountain. If one last phase member were to pass all three Sky Mountains consecutively, then he would immediately rise to become a Primal Region member. According to the male, as long as I pass the Primal Region Sky Mountain, I can enter the Primal Region. Luo Feng's eyes gleamed. I'll give it a shot. After studying the third volume of the Time Space Scribbles for a couple of months, my understanding of the rainstorm picture has grown. I can even maintain Blade World for 30 seconds now. During a battle between the strong, 30 seconds is enough. Luo Feng thought, I'll attempt the primal region Sky Mountain. Virtual universe, especially open space. There was a huge piece of land there, and on it were three majestic mountains. Each one higher than the other. This is the Sky Mountain. Luo Feng carried on his back the dark golden long rod and looked up at the three majestic mountains. At the halfway mark of each of the three were glowing golden words, sky and land, absolute beginning, primal. Of which, the primal Sky Mountain was even bigger and taller. 
Luofeng became a beam of light and flew straight at the primal sky mountain. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.